Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 11 of the Photoshop tutorial series. So today we're going to focus on how to do the selection inside of photos in specific. So if I were to go to file, I'm going to open up my picture right there and over here, if I want to select some file, then yes, I can use my magnetic lasso tool. So that is usually the way to go. So if I were to go to magnetic lasso tool and I say, uh, to select boots or something up as a part of the image, I can simply do this. I can simply click and click and you can see that it actually attaches to the edges of the boat just like that. So if I want to uh, delete this, so now this is actually being off. So I can just press backspace on my keyboard, just click and then it actually, uh, I can refine this just like this. So I can just click and drag. So click, click. So if I do an error in certain point, I can also zoom, zoom in over here so over here just click and drag click and drag click and drag click click as long as okay so this is going off so just click over here so if you don't get the right detail or it doesn't stick to the right place then you just have to be more precise and do uh, much more of a click so just click and now that is selected so you can go to refine is right there and then i'm going to increase the smoothness level because you can see that it is not smooth so I'm going to increase the smoothness level you can also add in a bit of a feather if you want to and increase the contrast but in that case I'm just gonna press ok and I'm going to output to a new layer and press ok and that is how you actually are able to uh, apply a selection onto a photograph so I can just drag this down press ctrl T and Control T actually allows me to resize, of course, and if you were to go to the end, I can also rotate this out and press enter just like that. So I can add an extra board just like this. So this is how you can edit uh, my photos using selection tool. But there's an easier way of selection tool as well. So right now my background layer is locked as you can see. Uh, it's because this is locked. So if I want to do further editing, I have to unlock this. And to do that, just double click on the lock icon right here and then this actually uh, unlocks the layer out and I'm able to move this layer just like I would move any other layer. So I just press Control Z over there. So now if I want to select the sky portion, what I can simply do is I can use the magic wand to click the sky and you can see that the majority of the sky is selected. And now if I want to just select the sky, there's also another way of doing it. So I can just go to select and go to color range, just like this. And if I want to select just the boat, just the red area, then I just uh, take the picture. So I just take the sample right here, the sample uh, pin right here, click on the area that I want, and you can see that my red area is selected. So if I were to decrease this out, then just my reds in the picture is selected. So if I were to press OK, then you can see that only the red is selected. Now what I can do is I can refine this by going on to the um, quick selection tool just like that i can increase the brush size so you, you, you see that you don't even see the brush size right here let me press, press uh, alt and scroll up to zoom it in right there so just press uh, the last bracket key close to increase the brush size and then drag this out in order to actually fill out the selection right there. So just, let me just press Ctrl Z because I actually selected the subtraction select um, uh, tool. So I'm just gonna press the addition tool and then drag it out. And you can see that it actually fills the hole out right there uh, from it. So go to the subtraction tool again, press uh, Alt and scroll out and then select this part out, which I don't want again and just select the part out, erase the part out that I don't want. So this is how you can actually use the selection tool inside of Photoshop as well. So I can right click and do a layer via cut. So just go to the selection tool right there, right click, right click, layer via copy or cut, whatever you want it. And there you go, that's the selection. But you can see that there's a fuzziness of the other images as well. Uh, there in the selection tool. So this is actually used for a uh, very good level of selection. So this is how you actually use um, selection tool inside of 
uh, Photoshop, especially in pictures. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share.